Greetings my friends, welcome to day 13, unlucky for some, unlucky for me, because, you know, okay, here we come, here we come with some excuses, I'm feeling, it's a bit late in the day, this is just, okay, I'm throwing out here, it's really warm in here, it's like, I kind of forgot, almost forgot that I was doing this thing today, my daughter's been back over the weekend, uh, she's come up for her birthday, and, um, went to my mum's today for like the Sunday dinner, I was doing things this morning, it was like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I was just like, I've got to do my workout, and then, but I think I just had this big Sunday dinner, which isn't good, usually I do these things prior to eating, so that may affect, here come the excuses, but I'm not going to let, I'm still gonna, obviously going to do the workout, all I'm saying is that it may interfere with the time, it might not, you know, maybe I'll add fuel, and I'll be like some crazed kind of uh, Superman, but, uh, Feeling slightly sluggish, <laughs> but um, yeah, I've had the heat on before, and I've, I've had the window open for about half an hour, but it's still a bit stifling in here, so <laughs> that could be a little bit, uh, you know, <gasps> breathing and things. So I might be dipping in the water. Anyhow, so that's excuses out of the way. Okay, we're just going to get on with it, and then we're going to see what's going to happen. So uh, again, I'll try my best, but I don't want to overload and explode my head. So we'll just. We'll just see how it goes, and I'll adjust accordingly to what's required. Um, I'm have a little sip before we start. Um, so I think I've uh, you know I've had those issues with the with the screen. I think I've uh, adjusted it there so it never goes off. Um, but I'll adjust that back. Um, you know, don't want the battery to die. So we'll see. So I'm actually I'm going to try this one, and I'm not going to touch the screen. So. Um, if it goes off, it's like a uh, rocky, rocky fall. If he dies, he dies. If it goes off, it goes off. See, it's like total same connection there. You know, it's like, uh, yeah, could make that into a movie, couldn't it? Uh, is he going to touch the, the phone? Is the phone going to die like Rocky? Um, yeah, okay. So, <laughs> probably nothing like that at all, but uh, oh my god, look. I must have swapped lids at some point. This is like a green thing under there, and this is a blue lid. I'm guessing something got switched at some point. I'll watch out for that. Okay, I should take that off though because I don't want to, uh, you know, add into the time there. Okay, okay, I want to, I want to crack one because I want to tell you this is something after. Yeah, stick around. It's exciting stuff for me. Maybe for you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know you really. Not yet. Okay, here we go. Let's just get on with this thing. Oh, okay, um, two seconds. Two seconds. Um, right, okay. I think we're ready to go. I've procrastinated enough. Let's shut this thing up here. Let's get on with it. Manifestation. I'm absorbed within the mirror as I stare with wanting eyes and it fractures right before me as my conscious levels rise and emit themselves within the glass in all the different shards. Then the faces warped, disfigured, turn about with no regards and disappear from a vision to live in altered dreams, venture off in all directions, slipping through the streams painting their new canvas with a palette carved from thought, unique to only this one vessel, as they sail on life's great boat. And a masterpiece is waiting for our lives to make it real, to show what we can rise to if we wield a will of steel, and mould ourselves to something that is waiting there to see what a life designed with purpose can manifest and be.
Oh, oh God. Uh, uh. Whew. Whew. So, uh. wow. Oh, that was, oh, Jesus. I think that was the hardest one yet. Oh, so it was at 10.47. I'm only gonna knock off three seconds, and only knock off four, but I bolted pretty fast from there to there, to start with. So, so we'll call it 10.44. Oh my God, honestly, I feel a bit sick. I didn't, I didn't even look at the time. You know, as I was going, I didn't glance at all. I didn't know where I was. I didn't want to kind of, I just wanted to do it at a pace I could do it without being influenced by anything. Sorry. Um, but honestly, that heat in here, that really, that really added to the discomfort. Um, yeah, again, it's my con my my fault in controlling the environment. Like I said, I was a little bit out of sickness today, but but still, hey, what did I say? Ten forty-four. That's uh, broke the eleven barrier. Woohoo! Okay, I guess thirteen was looking for some. 10.44, two, uh, I mean, like I was saying, I think I broke the 11 barrier yesterday, uh, maybe even the day before as well, I don't know, I can't remember what happened there, I'm sure there was a little bit of an error there as well, but uh, anyhow, we've done it there now, so uh, yeah, 30 days, I've got one more day left, with um, with the two kilos, and I'm gonna double that. Oh God, what was I thinking? So I'm a little bit uh, not nervous. Uh, just you know, apprehensive slightly. Just uh, well, I mean, again, it doesn't matter. It's still 300 reps, but it has to be just a bit more. And, um, but again, I know. Let's let's just wait and see how much that's going to affect it. So again, I've got one more chance tomorrow to try and beat that. Uh, it's possible. Um, again, I'm going to cool this place off. So I've got plenty breathable air and I'll try and give it a little bit extra. But again, got to be a bit careful. I thought it was going to, um, you know, inhale my own heart or something there. So got to keep this thing within reason. We've got to be safe. So um, yeah, so getting a bit of breath. So I was gonna just say that, um, yeah, so tomorrow I've got this, I've got my first kind of lesson. It's like an induction um, along at the, the climbing place. You know, I've mentioned that before, it, it, you know, not too many times. So it would not surprise me if you have not seen that video. But it's like, you know, I was uh, speaking to my son, I, I, I kind of, I talk at people sometimes, you know. I know people don't want to listen too much. I kind of corner them. I'm just a bit like, a bit like, yeah, so, um, so I'm doing it and they're just like, the eyes are kind of like, you know, it's just like the back and forth, you know, it's like, oh God, now I'm stuck here for half an hour. And I'm like, yes, you are. Just listen and nod and smile. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but it's this climbing malarkey. I'm going to use that word. Not 100% sure what that means, but I think it's, um, it's uh, malarkey. It's like this, this game, this, uh, this thing. I'm not very good at describing things, malarkey. I'm gonna check it up. I'm gonna come back with a full description of my Professor Tweed Jack. Okay, but, um, so, yeah, climbing cliff faces. I had to actually go on, when I was on Google, I was like, what's the difference between rock climbing and mountaineering? And I was like, which one? I mean, I know you climb the mountains, you know, up the paths and things probably, but I'm, I'm like, Did, is mountaineering the same? It's like climbing up the sides, or that's like alpinists. Or I'm sure they've got all these technical terms. I'm going to find out tomorrow because I'm going along for an induction just on the bouldering thing. But I'm going to speak the instructor. I'm going to try and get myself fast tracked as quick as I can to get the experience on the uh, 
the belays or and just so I can have my own time my own rope so I can kind of just go and just crack on and just climb and do these things and learn the, the maneuvers and things uh, how many times have I said the word thing it's quite a bit I think but I was like I've been sort of been watching a bit over the last few days and anyone who has climbed these things I mean check it out just for kind of you just be like what, what's going on there um, what's his name Alex someone uh, Alex Hub Hood I can't remember his name I apologise um, he like scaled the Yosemite thing the El Capdino or something like 3,000 feet up this granite thing without any ropes like the solo climb and I was like I'm watching that I'm just like man it's insane but I did but I still didn't realise you know again everything has incredible depths and layers to them but you just I was watching the more I was watching these videos the more I was just like it's not as easy as I thought it would be <laughs> you know I was just like in my mind like, yeah you just like you just go up there you just grab something in the hole but you know, yeah, just kind of put the foot there. But you literally got to be some kind of rubber man gymnast with like unbelievable strength or something probably again in your fingertips. I mean, I guess I kind of knew this in a way, but to do what they do, you know, um, it's just like, again, it's the it's a, it's the other level of things, isn't it? You know, you look at these things and until you try it. I mean, when I go along tomorrow and I'm like, yeah, I'm, I can, I'm pretty strong. I can do these things. I'll probably be, you know, uh, humbled probably quite quickly. When I'm like, I'll easily get up that one. I'll be, I'll be climbing that big wall up there. Uh, like, you know, just, I can I go on that one? They'll be like, yeah, you think? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, no problem. I'll be up and down in a few minutes. You know, and he's just like, getting a few up there. And you just, I can't do it. What do I hold on to? <laughs> you see that tiny little thing up there? If you grab and pinch that between your, your thumb and your finger, then drag yourself up. I'll be like, what? <laughs> you know, what are you talking about? So, anyhow. But I'm excited to try and learn and build the strength and get the um, agility, flexibility, all this stuff and just learn again how to do the holds and the pushes and just work. So I'm excited about that. I'm going to start moving my um, training to uh, what I'm bringing out to you guys now to a lot of it is to try and shape the body and the strength and the exercises towards that particular sport because I'm almost certain that it's going to kind of like take a bit of a hold of us, you know. And I'm going to hold on to that wall. I'll be writing lots of poems about this, I'll tell you. And I'm going to paint lots of paintings about this stuff. I'm excited about connecting all the dots, you know, kind of Steve Jobs type of style. Uh, so, yeah, anyhow. So, tomorrow, I'll come back. I'll, I'll, I won't do this thing until I've come back from the uh, from the sessions. And uh, I'll give you a bit of heads up how I'll probably like to be in a full body cast. I'll be like, yeah, I kind of slept a bit. But anyhow, until tomorrow, my friends, take care. See you later. Bye bye. Greetings my friends. Thank you for watching whatever it was you just watched. I hope it's left you confused or uh, excited or inspired or whatever emotions is running through your head right now. I appreciate it. But please hit the thumbs up and uh, pass things on to your friends if you think they need to watch this. And uh, if you'd like to look at any of my art or purchase any of my art then please check out the links below for the website, um, Instagram, Facebook, and all that jazz. Uh, take care. I shall see you soon. Thanks now. Bye.